to do this, I'm going to use a table. There was been some questions about how do you get rid of lines in tables and so forth. So I'm going to start out with a table. I, I know how you delete the lines in a table. How? You delete the whole thing. Start over. <laughs> <laughs> sure. That's a good way. Yeah. You can do that if you want to start over every time. So it's going to be a single column table. And it doesn't matter how many column or how many rows I start out with. I am going to just add some uh, things of the announcements contained every day. So we'll start with the lunch menu. And we'll leave some space there. We'll use the tab to go to the next section and we'll do some counselor notes. And give it some space and use tab again. We always had college visitations, so I'll use that as a heading. And club meetings. Whoops, I forgot to give you give it some space. And I don't know how to spell visitations. I wondered why you were throwing such a difficult word in there. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, yes, I guess I should put an I in there. All right, there we go. And we also had lots of club meetings. And after school, you get the idea. And now, sports. Now, Deanna, while you're typing that in, I'm curious. When you're when you're doing this, when you're doing a lot of word stuff for yourself, do you leave the paragraph or the the show stuff on, or do you? Is that mean? I usually you have it on. Do you? I didn't at first. I didn't like it, but I don't watch my screen too much, so yeah. Okay. I leave it on and doesn't. But if it bothers you, you just turn it off and don't use it. Hmm. I'm just curious if, if you as a word perfect or not word perfect, excuse me, slappy. I'm close oh to my that. Goodness. <laughs> as a word as a word expert, if that was a tip or a trick that you use to, to be able to see what's going on inside your documents or that's just for training purposes. If I'm gonna edit it, I usually leave it on. Then I but it's just because it doesn't bother me. Oh okay. and I have no particular preference. Okay. Because it won't print anyway, and I right. know that beginning users, it really bothers them. So I, I suggest you don't use it if it bothers you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. We're going to get rid of the lines. So I'm going to select my whole table. And you remember, when you are inside your table, you'll have a tab that says Table Tools. You have a design and a layout. We do want to be in design and we do want to go to borders. And we click that drop down arrow. And all we have to do to get rid of the borders is say no border. And it's gone. While we're about that, um, I'm going to go to layout. Sometimes you erase your lines and then you're not sure exactly where you are or what you're doing. So a little trick for that is if you click this view grid lines and click your view grid lines and you get a dotted line, they will not print, but it helps you sometimes know where, you, where you're at and where your lines would have been. 